Hey guys, Physical Emotions here. Today's topic is going to be conflict theory. Have you ever noticed a divide in society between the privileged and those who are not? Such as someone who is rich versus someone who is poor. This is what we call conflict theory. Karl Marx, a philosopher, journalist, revolutionary socialist, and potentially Santa Claus's doppelganger, is considered the father of conflict theory. He pointed out the continuous competition for power between different classes in society and how the more powerful groups exploit those with less. He suggested that social order is maintained by domination. So power lies in the hands of those with the greatest political, economic, or social resources. This often leads to power struggles for those with less. This inequality still exists because those who are in a better position of society actively try to defend this standing. Consider the following. Let's say an individual named, say, Carl, Carl Marx, has a minimum wage income and is paying rent for a housing. A conflict theorist might claim that the relationship between Carl and the owner would be strongly unequal. Carl could pay rent for decades and still gain no right or economic interest with the property. Carl doesn't advance his placement in society. He remains in an unchanging position. He pays rent, the owner collects. In this way, the owner remains above Carl and because of his already advantageous position, is fortunate enough to advance further. So why are the ones with less power stuck in that situation? Can't they just leave if they're treated poorly? Ho <laughs> ho It's not that simple. They don't have any other options. It's a repeating cycle. Picture this. One family wealthy, they can afford to send their eldest son to receive a good education and a lucrative career to follow. Not discriminating against girls, by the way. He then passes on this wealthy torch to further generations and, and so on. And another family. Both parents have mediocre jobs, but they can't afford to educate their children. So these children later on find similar jobs to their parents, and the seemingly inescapable trend continues. Poverty to poverty, wealthiness to wealthiness. This has been happening since the dawn of civilization. Whether it was the slaves and their masters, lords and serfs, or capitalists and wage laborers. Marx argues that all of human history has always been about this conflict. In addition to that, one of the only solutions is to have a revolution by breaking the political and economic domination by the higher class and reorganizing society with collective ownership and mass democratic control. If only things were this equal and fair, maybe things could be successful for all and there wouldn't be any more struggle. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Another lesson done by Physical Emotions. Thanks for watching. Created using Powtoon.